With nearly 900 individuals experiencing homelessness in Stockton. We all are. We all are scared. Word is spreading among the community about a series of killings involving a few unhoused residents. I know there, there are cops, the police officers have to do their rounds, but I think we just need a little bit more backup and come a little bit more often around, you know, to supervise, to show. Some of them have heard about it and they're concerned. Um, they are happy that the officers are out there making that positive contact with them, letting them know exactly what's going on. Lydia Yanez has been living out here for a few years and says that trying to turn her life around has been tough. Three years, and it's really hard, and it's hard to get homes. Now, I've looked everywhere, everywhere, everywhere that um, practically all stocked in, you know, and the housing's going high. They want like triple the rent and everything, and there's a lot of people that can't have triple the rent, you know? So as police keep investigating whether unhoused residents or Latinos are the target, they're making sure that information is being spread in Spanish. Our strategic community officers, they've been going out to homeless encampments in North Stockton, passing out some flyers, the reward information, and, you know, telling, you know, our homeless population about what's going on and how to remain safe. St. Mary's dining room has been, you know, a haven for people for decades and continues to be so. St. Mary's dining room in Stockton assists about 500 people a day with different services and said that they're recently upping safety awareness and resources to them. Most of the individuals um, staying in the encampments nearby come here every day for three meals and so we have a lot of engagement with them, a lot of resources. Um, it, it's that the resources are limited. In Stockton police that, that they are working through their unsolved crimes and homicides to determine if any of those could also have any connection to this series of killings. In Stockton, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. And tonight we're learning more about the very first victim. Juan Serrano was from Oakland. He was also homeless at the time that he was murdered in April of last year. People who knew him described him as humble and well-liked. And the Stockton Police Department has set up a tip line for anyone with information about these killings. That number, you see it right there on your screen. It's 209-937-8167. You can also email information to police tips at stocktonca.gov. The reward, now up to $125,000.